your last clear chance for fantastic savings. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Did you... Why? Yeah, look at you. <laughs> the National Safety Council. Hmm? Oh. Ha, ha, Jack Kevorkian throws a tailgating party. <laughs> <laughs> Save some for me. <laughs> ah. Oh, look, the Pepto-Bismol car. Never let this happen to you. Don't make the mistake these people made. Don't die. Mm. Well, when lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed, I... I suppose I should have gone in for a few minutes. Mm. But I just couldn't do it. Because of the tear in the sprocket hole. Burying someone from a family... Someone cut down in the prime of life. Is one of the perks of this well, job. Well, it's hard to take. I could say goodbye from here. Goodbye! Oh. Besides, I could do more good out on the road. I could keep trying to prevent other people from killing themselves in their cars. Don't cry out loud. Bringing to out. other families, like <laughs> the Dixons in there. That heartbreak that never quite healed. Like psoriasis. It was hard to believe that just a few days before... I was being spanked by Rod and Kuhn. The family had been as happy and contented a group of people as you'd find anywhere. And then I showed up. Frank Jr. had just come home from college to give his dad a little help on the farm for the summer. Never since the heart attack, Dad thought he was a basket weaver. He was a chip off the old block, studying scientific agriculture at school. And getting ready to follow in his dad's footsteps. Longer than there have been stars. Frank's girl, Betty Hutchins, had been waiting for him, of course. Of course. Everyone knew they'd be getting married before too long. When will we be getting married? Before too long. Mr. Dixon's new tractor had just arrived down at the Union Pacific freight station. And they all went down to inspect it. You can guess there's not much going Frank on in this town. Frank out and just taken his driving test a yeah. week before. Alan sure wanted to drive his dad's new tractor. But until he actually received the license, Dad Dixon wasn't letting him on the highway. Not even on a tractor. Well, you're not ready for the high life yet. These are fruits you must not taste. Me? Oh, oh, oh do we dare? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so free. <laughs> He's off the ramp. The UP station agent had reminded Frank that the 411 streamliner was due any minute. And of course, with Betty there, he wasn't taking chances anyway. Of course, when he's with Cindy, he it's don't care. That careful all the time. Well, a lot of people in the cemeteries would be alive today. That's all I'm saying. Hey, my advocate is here. It was the next Monday that Alan Dixon's first driver's license arrived in a noon mail delivery. Boy, was he proud of that license. He couldn't wait to show it to his brother. My arm's caught. Be right all, there. The first license is sort of a milestone. It means all the roads are now open to him. This he is was beautiful proud of the license <laughs> And just as naturally, wanted to make use of it on any errand that his dad or his mother or his grandfather. I danced with Flo Ziegfeld, you know. The only trouble was. I had to choose that moment to drive in and spoil things. Oh, it's the heat. Hide the stash. when you've known a family as long as I'd known the Dixons, they don't treat you as a cop, but as a friend. I thought we were all paid up. Gonna need another 50. Real shame if something happened to this land. Looks like you're gonna have another Dixon to worry about, huh? Alan got his driver's license. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, my license. Well, let me see it, would you? <laughs> you bet. You see that? You're not a black female. Well, I guess that makes it official. When'd you get it? Just came today. <laughs> oh, just today, huh? <laughs> Why'd I see you out driving on Highway 30 yesterday morning? <gasps> I have no son. This is my fault. I let him take the car to go and see his girl. I'm sorry. Oh, he shouldn't hmm? have. Fine way to be starting your driving career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Violation already. You're spending the night in the barn with your crazy cousin. I'm sorry. Well, it's only a technical violation. <laughs> I didn't come here to arrest you, Alan. <laughs> I knew he'd be getting that license any day now, and I thought this would be a good time to come by and 
tell you a few of the facts of life about driving before you get started. You see, when a man loves a car very much, you recline the seat back, you take now, the car... Now, these are accident reports from my headquarters. Officer, is this going to take long? Each to... figure represents someone injured or killed in the We've got a crop out in the field. we got to cut the... city streets. It's getting farm late. Farm roads. We really got to get... Highways and railroad We've got to mow that hay down before we got to get All it to market. All the facts and figures are here. We'll lose a lot of money if we don't... Well, some of them you've read about in the papers. Others we hushed up. Big, spectacular crashes caused by terrific speed oh, or yeah. drunk driving or some other form of what I call near insanity. Stop the near but insanity. People only squeeze the law a little. At stop signs, in restricted speed zones and the like. Little violations that most people get away with time after time. Little. Maybe getting a ticket or a warning like Frank Jr. did. Iowa PD but without Blue. getting hurt. But those little violations, those little chances wow. you take day by day, that's where you start playing roulette with your life. You're taking a big gamble with your life when you violate a no-passing line on the road. Whoa! My earlobe won't stop growing. You're taking a big chance on the car in front when you follow too closely at highway speeds. <laughs> Maybe a man will do these things a hundred times in perfect safety. Oh, the odds are pretty good. Squeeze mm. the law, and nothing happens. Mm. But don't forget that other law, the law of average. I regret nothing. Sooner well. or later, it catches well. up with you. Mm. Now, this accident was number one for the driver involved. The first one he'd ever had. But it was his last one, too. Mm. He took one little chance too many. Ironic. Frank is taking too many chances in his car. Mother, no. Oh, he'll be all right. Won't he, Al? He'll be all right if he takes to heart what I told him about signs. Hmm. Signs of life. That's what stop signs and all the other road signs really are. Mm -hmm. And missing one of them as you drive along, hmm. or mm -hmm. just ignoring Anybody it. Anybody know this guy? Well, that's one of those little things that kills people. The world made sense an Whenever hour ago. Whenever there's a hazard on the road, there's usually a sign to tell you about it. Like a curve warning, mm -hmm. or a right-of-way sign, mm -hmm. narrow mm -hmm. bridge, mm -hmm. signals ahead, mm -hmm. do not enter, mm -hmm. no pass, Doesn't mean and many others. All nude girls, whites only. But for too many drivers, a stop sign like this, for example, is a target. Has no importance unless they can see cars crossing the road ahead right now. A school crossing sign, for some drivers, seems to mean little or nothing. <laughs> Unless there are children actually crossing the street at that moment. As for railroad crossings... Forget them. Some drivers act as if the warning signs and tracks don't even exist. Nope. Unless oh. there's a streamliner passing by right in front of them. Dirty Mary and Crazy Larry, no! Hard as it is to believe, there are many accidents where the driver ran past three warning signs and straight into the side of a moving train. Ah, good riddance, I say. Broad safely. But it happens even more often at night. That's when the warning <sighs> sign, the signal, the crossbuck are really your signs of life. You see, son, we all die alone yes, and afraid. The is still there, but you have to be twice as alert to see it. If you hadn't seen the sign, boy, you haven't lived. This train might come as a surprise to you. The Soul Train. Thank you very much, Clarissa. Any town, USA. Traffic signs and signals that are so easy to see in the daylight become easier to miss as the sun goes down. Twilight is a dangerous time of day when things are half visible, half in deepening shadow. Half naked. Main Street at night becomes a maze of lights and neon signs, all Congress competing though. with one another to catch your eye. So don't ever go to the city. It's but dirty. the traffic signal? In your pants. Oh, there it is. Almost lost against the other lights beyond. God, I had some times in this town. Anyway. Even the blinking red light of the railroad wigwag is hard to pick out sometimes. Build my youth like Chief Jen. But anyway. Every day, these are your signs of life whose purpose is to keep you alive. Even though you don't deserve it. It's a strange thing, but some people actually resent traffic signs and traffic laws. Well, we resent you being here. Cramps their style. They figure rules are for the other fellow, not for good drivers like themselves. They're communists. Here's one like that. Hmm? 
Robert Bainbridge. Bainbridge? From Meridian High? Yeah. Oh, I know him. I ran against him on the track team. <laughs> well, do you know him like this? No! No! Ah! Oh, dear God, who are you? What are you? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go throw myself in the thrasher. <laughs> yeah. Even with sensible, safe driving... Joe people, the Wabbit! Joe the Wabbit! With Whee! no traffic lights and no intersections wow. to worry about. You might wonder, where is the danger we keep talking about? Well, here's one danger. Kidnapping. Fatigue. Yeah. On long trips, yeah. fatigue is a big Brothers. hazard. Oh. You should stop at least once every hour. Get out. Ooh, ooh. Stretch your legs. Take some bennies. Get those cobwebs out of your head. <laughs> I got even this. It but... slows down your no. reactions. And at 60 miles no. an hour or better, oh. you can't oh. afford it. Oh. 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 My life is a lie. Oh. Oops. Now they're Mon Pot Topper. And here is still another danger. Lack of attention to the road. <laughs> sure, it's an open highway. Maybe there aren't many cars. Yeah, and I buried the victims right over there. It only takes right two there. to tangle. Forty percent of all expressway accidents <laughs> involve a car that has already stopped. Driven by this guy. On the road, part way on. Or not far enough off. This is an invitation. Look at that over there. There's some more of it, that thing. Hark, huh? Mr. President, please watch where you're going. Whoa, almost ran over Kissinger. I'm going to have to go back. <laughs> Here is another hazard of our superhighways that we patrolmen see all too often. Women drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you have to hit your brakes hard. Saints ask cry. yourself... Why weren't you ready for the danger that suddenly developed? Forty percent of all accidents are caused by women's hinders. The car oh. only pulls oh. out without looking. It's always sudden, of course, and always surprising. But never dull. A man who decides at the last moment to make a Grandma, no! <laughs> the entering car that fails to yield the right of way. The paid assassin cruising through town. Well, sure, the other fellow's off and wrong. <laughs> and if he causes a crash, <laughs> it's all his fault. But you may be dead just the same. Would you please, please leave? In a lot of accidents, it's pretty hard to tell just who is to blame, isn't it, Hal? I ask you to talk. It's impossible to tell sometimes. But there's one kind of accident din -dins. where there's never a single doubt. What's that? At a railroad crossing. Yep. The train sure has the right of way. Yeah, whatever. You know, the railroad's been here for almost four generations. Every farm family in these parts uses the railroad to ship their crops. We all like to ride the train. I like to pretend I'm an engineer. But why is it so many people don't see the trains at the crossings? Hmm. It seems impossible that anyone could fail to see or hear a train in motion. What train? The locomotive is certainly awesome. big enough, and the train of cars behind it may be as much as a mile long. Mm -hmm. And yet, many people who have lived through a crossing accident will say, ah! Where did the train come from? I never saw it until it was right on top of me. Where did it come from? None of your bees, wow. Well, it came on the rails. <laughs> it couldn't come from anywhere else. Duh. But if you paid no attention to the signs, I hear it. didn't look, and didn't listen, and you deserve to die. You, it came out of nowhere. An approaching train starts the signal while it is still some distance away. Never try to guess how far it is. Don't guess at all. And don't be impatient. And don't get a haircut because like the that. the train's mm. coming, and it can't stop. Trains are blameless, holy creatures. I have no feelings for you! What? This is a loveless relationship. I want uh, out. What? I'm repulsed by your touch. What? Let me out right here. I hate you. Ding, 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 ding. Signal in action means that a condition of fatal danger exists at this moment at this crossing. Maybe the last train you waited for was a slow freight. It took several minutes to cross. But the next one may be a fast freight, high falling to the coast on a tight schedule. It has no time to stop for you corn-shucking crackers. Remember that many freight trains today are faster than passenger trains of 15 oh. years ago. 
Wow! Many crossings have more than one set of tracks. Each one a separate hazard. When you cross, floss. Make sure all tracks are clear. Don't trust anyone. Turn your back on hope and love. Don't let a double track double cross you. Ha ha ha! Little train joke. Stop, look, and listen. The cross buck says. All right. Up and roll. Let's listen. Okay, As now stop. As the train approaches, let's see how close it comes before we hear it. I think it would go something like this. Wait for it. Any moment. Mm -hmm. uh, and? Oh! <laughs> I'm the impish officer of death. Now, where did that train come from? The station. <laughs> where does any train come from? comes in the rails, of course. Durhe. And who gets killed at the crossing? We all do. Someone mm -hmm. who's crossed that same track at the same place a thousand times before. Uh, I'm making choo-choo's in my pants. <laughs> one time is all it takes. Quit kissing up. Send for help. The cop won't leave. <laughs> it's Big Daddy's birthday. I've got life in me, Big Daddy. Please speak to Frank about his driving. It worries me. Okay, I will. I'll do it tonight. This is the prequel to In Cold Blood. Oh, I surrender, Hal. I give up. What's the charge? <laughs> Manslaughter. Frank. I'm just giving Alan some free advice now that he's a licensed driver. Boy, I remember that advice you gave me the other day at the stop sign. Well, you keep <laughs> it in mind. I sir. will. Huh? Dad, Dad, can I take the car into town now? Okay, Alan, go ahead. But take it easy. Oh, I'll, I'll be real careful. Goodbye. He'll be all right. Look at the guy go. Hey, maybe we better go along with him. Make sure he gets there all right. Okay, you buy me soda. Okay, fine. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Doesn't anybody do any chores on this farm? So running. So, there went Alan with his new driver's license and Frank and Betty right behind on as nice a summer day as you could wish for. It's a good day to die. Hi, clouds. Hi, trees. Say, you're a pretty cute road sign. Hi. You know, I've got a feeling that one of these characters is about to see their own intestines. <gasps> hey, look, that's my brother in that truck. What are the chances of that happening? Hi, brother. Hey, the cop never said anything about doing intensely stupid things. Never wave while driving. Never look backwards while driving forward. Never under any circumstances drive with your butt cheeks. My plan's working. You will die. Keep going. Uh, back at you. Uh, can I have your room? Well, live and learn. Huh. Say, nice butt. No? Toro, Toro. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, I'd tuck you in, but you're dead. <laughs> Gee, lady, sorry about your boyfriend. So, you want to have a drink? Maybe at the bar car over there. Oh, I suppose a train joke is inappropriate. Sorry about that. You know, son, 40% of all accidents... Oh, shut are... up, will ya? Would you identify this bucket full of your brother? <laughs> Why don't they look, Ralph? Tell me. Why don't they look? You're deep, Ernie. No, I didn't go in. <laughs> Burying someone like young Frank Dixon is too hard to take. Besides, I hate to shovel. Mm. Well, maybe I could just slip over there for dessert. My place nah, was out on the road. Out on the road, I could at least try to keep other people from killing themselves in their cars. Oh, you're doing a great job. So if the next car I stop happens to be yours, Set a place for me at your dinner table. Don't tell me you were only speeding a little, only breaking the law a little, uh -oh. only doing something a little bit wrong. Save that for somebody else, brother. Oh my God, he snapped! Too many little follies. He's a bad cop on the loose. Someone a little bit dead. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of lunch. <laughs> Folks, we disavow anything to do with that officer. In fact, he was fired years ago. That's right. Since his reign of terror, we've instituted a strict policy. Any officer appearing unannounced at a farmer's house will be severely reprimanded. Gargancho cop.
Dead people are dying every day. Dead, 